When 90% of my audience tries any emulator, they face the same issue, the blue screen error. So, I thought, why not provide you all with an emulator that is 100% error free? Finding such an emulator was a bit challenging because almost all the emulators in the market come with some errors. After approximately a month of research, I finally found an emulator in which you won't encounter any blue or black screen errors. Due to its Android 4 version, it will run smoothly on your low-end PC. Now, if we talk about the system requirements for this emulator, you need to have at least 2 GB of RAM. As for the processor, a dual-core processor is a must, and there is no need for a dedicated graphics card. So without any further ado, let's get started. So, I have now arrived at my PC screen. First, let me show you the specifications of my PC so that all your doubts regarding the system requirements can be cleared. As you can see, my PC has only 2 GB of RAM and a 2.40 G's processor. Now, let me show you the graphics card. Here, my PC has a 64 MB Intel HD graphics card, which isn't very capable. Now, let's move on to the installation process. The download link for this file will be available in the description below. You can click on it to download, and regarding its size, it's 261 MB. Let's start the installation. Simply click on the setup hand, the extraction will begin. Now, click on continue. After that, choose the emulator's directory, click on Next. It will take 5 to 10 minutes to install, so let's wait a bit. As you can see, our emulator is now installed. Now, I will record the video externally so that it looks seamless for you. Look, our emulator has launched. Let's install some games. You might have noticed that the emulator doesn't display in a PK install button. Let's fix that. Click on the APK of the game you want to install and the installation will begin. Just keep in mind that the game you install should support Android 4. Otherwise, you might encounter an error on your screen. Overall, I quite like this emulator. While it may not support high-end games, you can easily play small games like Angry Birds, Dr. Driving, or Flappy Bird. Let me know how you find this emulator in the comments. If you liked it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.